Lieutenant Colonel Bruno Sari. I'm the Battalion Commander for 347 Infantry. On behalf of myself, uh, Command Sergeant Major Kit Burris, and the 1A Brigade Command Team for Avoiding Sergeant Major Blunt. First, I'd like to welcome everybody to uh, Love Me Fort Benning and today's turning blue ceremony for Alpha 347, Charlie 347, and Delta 229. All right, who's ready to see their trainees? <laughs> Than that, I know, I know there's 674 trainees out there are excited to see you guys. Who's ready to see the new infantrymen? Okay, I know, uh, I know there's standard moment. We put some extra bleachers out here the other day, and uh, really the, the, the amount of support from families and loved ones totally humbles me. So, thank you all for coming. Thank you for being here. Uh, apologize for the uh, lack of seating for some of you. We are going to ask, I know there's some drill sergeants over there. Some of you guys are on the parade field. We have to ask you guys to move back a little bit to, uh, to make room for the, uh, the, the companies coming out. So over the last 14 weeks, your loved ones have been training very hard under the mentorship and coaching of the drill sergeants. Uh, they came here as civilians, and now they're the, the newest infantry soldiers in the Army. So you're going to see them walking a little bit taller, walking a little bit prouder. You know that they've always had that in them from the start, from the love and devotion you guys all gave them. But the only thing the drill sergeants have done that you guys probably couldn't is get them to wake up on time and make their beds every morning. <laughs> so let's give the drill sergeants a round of applause. <laughs> so we're about to start here in about, about two minutes. I know they're going to ask you to start silencing your cell phones. Um, once again, welcome to Fort Benning. Thank you for coming. Let's hear it one more time for the news that you sold in the <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the ceremony is about to begin. Please ensure all electronic devices are silenced, and please refrain from smoking during the ceremony.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Colonel Voorhees, Mans Army Major Blunt, Lieutenant Colonel Masari, Mans Army Major Burris, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends. Welcome to the Turning Blue Ceremony of Alpha Company, 3rd Battalion, 47th Infantry Regiment, Charlie Company, 3rd Battalion, 47th Infantry Regiment, and Delta Company, 2nd Battalion, 29th Infantry Regiment. Today we recognize the soldiers before you for their successful completion of their infantry training. The soldiers will now be awarded their infantry blue cord. The significance of the infantry blue cord is that it allows other soldiers to recognize the men who will fight along the front lines for our country during times of war. The light blue color of the infantry dates back to revolutionary times, when America's war for independence began. Men of the Continental Army were dressed in a wide variety of uniforms of all different colors. It was next to impossible to determine the rank or branch of a Continental Army soldier by looking at their uniform. In an effort to solve this problem, General George Washington issued an order that men in the Continental Army henceforth wear color on plumes or tunics to make their rank and branch easily identifiable. Later, blue denoted infantrymen of both the Union and Confederacy during the Civil War. The federal troops wore braids of this color on their caps, and their re rebel counterparts embellished their trousers with blue piping along the sides. During the Korean War, it was decided that light blue would be recognized as the official infantry branch color, and it would be used to enhance the dress uniform. The new blue cord was first worn by members of the 3rd Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard. It then became standard to the Army in 1952, and has been proudly worn by all infantry soldiers since. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the invocation to be given by Chaplain Fletcher, the 3rd Battalion, 47th Infantry Regiment Chaplain, and remain standing to honor the nation with the playing of the National Anthem. Let us pray. Almighty God, today these soldiers receive their blue cords marking them as infantry and signaling to all the world their courage to fight on the front lines of battle. We pray they never have to fight, and yet if they are called to battle, give them the courage to face and strike down evil, holding up the hope of freedom to our nation and to all the world. And whether in battle or at home, may their walk and talk spread the spirit of courage, freedom, Sacrifice and selfless service to all who witness their examples. Be with them, be with their families as they now move forward as infantry. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Captain Suarez, the company commander from Alpha Company, 3rd Battalion, 47th Infantry Regiment, will now award the individuals from each company with the highest score from the Army Physical Fitness Test, or the APFT, and the top shot from each company. The trainee with the highest APFT score from Alpha Company, 3rd Battalion, 47th Infantry Regiment, is Private Michael King, with a score of 329. The trainee being awarded the top shot from Alpha Company, 3rd Battalion, 47th Infantry Regiment, is Private Tyler Latsko with a score of 39 out of 40. The trainee with the highest APFT score from Charlie Company, 3rd Battalion, 47th Infantry Regiment, is Private Diego Sanchez with a score of 309. The trainee being awarded the top shot from Charlie Company, 3rd Battalion, 47th Infantry Regiment, is Private Simon Schwarzentruber, with a score of 40 out of 40. The trainee with the highest APFT score from Delta Company, 2nd Battalion, 29th Infantry Regiment, is Specialist Michael Allen, with a score of 365. The trainee is being awarded the top shot from Delta Company, 2nd Battalion, 29th Infantry Regiment, are Private Jack Wentz and Private Tanner Schiller, who both have a score of 39 out of 40. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give the awardees another round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of Alpha Company, 3rd Battalion, 47th Infantry Regiment, Captain Suarez. Colonel Voorhees, Command Sergeant Major Blanc, Lieutenant Colonel Mazzari, Mass Sergeant Millette, Drill Sergeants and Cadre of the 198, friends and family of these soon-to-be infantrymen. Welcome to the Turn Blue Ceremony for Alpha Company 347, Charlie Company 347, and Delta Company 229. Today we celebrate the transformation of your soldiers into infantrymen. They've chosen to join the most difficult and honorable job in the United States Army. They've undergone the most physically demanding initial entry training of all MOSs. They will continue on to their units where they will conduct difficult training progressions and prepared to deploy in the defense of our great nation. Despite the difficulty and danger of their chosen profession, they have all knowingly volunteered to serve. This is a testament to the values that their families raised them with. Infantrymen have been at the decisive point of every war that our nation has been in. From Yorktown to Fallujah, they've been the tip of the spear, closing with and destroying the enemy in close combat. This is embodied in infantry's motto of follow me with infantrymen leading the way since our branch's establishment in 1775. While the technology and tactics utilized by infantrymen over the years have changed dramatically, our core mission of winning America's battles remains the same. I'd like to thank the families and attendants. Your love and support has been essential over the past 14 weeks, and will only become more important in the coming years as your soldiers continue their military careers. You, the spouses, moms, and dads will never receive enough gratitude. While the infantry live out the purpose of their lives in training and deployment, will often be held to all the pieces of families and relationships together through FaceTime, email, and memory. 
If you know this burden, for those that do understand the sacrifice and stress, follow me, brave and bold, Raiders never quit. Soon, these soldiers will be awarded the Entry Blue Corps. The Blue Corps distinguishes the infantrymen from all other soldiers and is a mark of excellence for those who earn it. Today, you will witness a special moment in history. Some of the infantrymen standing before you are called legacy infantrymen. This is when a family member was an infantryman during their time in service and are now passing the blue cord onto the new generation. The previous generation is now entrusting the new generation pick up the call to defend the Constitution of the United States, the American people, and this great nation we call home. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we ask that only the family members that have been identified as legacy members move forward to the front of your infantrymen and present them their blue cord. Please remain silent until the passing of the blue cord is finished. At this time, we would like to ask the remaining family members and loved ones to move forward and put on your soldiers' infantry blue cord.
Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduate from Alpha Company, 3rd Battalion, 47th Infantry Regiment, will now lead his fellow infantrymen in the infantryman's creed. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and join us in the singing of the Army Song.
Ladies and gentlemen, this completes the turning blue ceremony. On behalf of the Commander and Cadre of Alpha Company, 3rd Battalion, 47th Infantry Regiment, Charlie Company, 3rd Battalion, 47th Infantry Regiment, and Delta Company, 2nd Battalion, 29th Infantry Regiment, we would like to thank you for attending today's ceremony. The graduation ceremony begins tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. at the National Infantry Museum. Please ensure your soldiers return back to their company area no later than 8 p.m. this evening. Thank you.